You're supposed to be state of the art. What are you doing here? I'm, I'm waiting for a friend. Where is he? he? He just went into the store. What's he look like? Kind of tall, dark hair, wearing expensive clothes. Now I understand. Oh, great. You're under arrest as an accessory to armed robbery. What? All right, this Jim guy. Where is he now? I don't know. I think you do. It's the truth. Look. Look. He would have never robbed that store. He makes a lot of money. Yeah. Tonight he made about 500 tax free. What's your share? Me? I didn't have anything to do with that robbery. I've never stolen anything in my life. Yeah? Well, let's see what your parents have to say about that. busy. Please, Mom, stay on the phone. I'll call again in a few minutes. In the meantime, let's see if we can scare the truth out of them. Come on, Cody. We should be going now. That's Dr. Jeff Coates' boomerang ball. You throw it, and it comes back to you. But it's not exactly... Perfected yet. Nice going. No problem. You can clean it up. nicer in the cell you'll have at the federal prison. It's kind of a shame, a kid like you being thrown in with a bunch of thieves and murderers. Look, I had nothing to do with that robbery. Maybe not. But if you expect us to believe you, you better help me find your friend Jim. to charge for my next appearance. Oh, no. Not my molecular transformation gel. None of it got on my Siamese fighting fish. They might start growing a second head. What a 
horrifying thought. Two-headed Siamese fighting fish. Twenty feet high. Dr. Jeff Cole. We have to talk to you. Aaron, what are you doing here? Doc, give it to me straight. How long do we have before we end up on Ripley's Believe It or Not? Probably a little longer than it took you to break into my house. your new best friend. Is Jim here? He's never here, but I'm pretty sure you must know all his secrets. Look, I'm really Nicole. busy. I'm sure your brother held up a store tonight. What? That's right. I tried to warn you about him. I still can't believe he'd do this. Andrew, all my brother ever cared about was having everyone look up to him. He figured if he drove some flashy sports car and waved a lot of money around, he'd get everyone's respect. And it worked. So he didn't make a small fortune selling foreign cars? He works as a part-time mechanic in an auto shop. The owner of the place has these high-stake poker games in the back. Well, Jim kept bringing in new players, so the owner let him drive the cars. He gambled, too, and got in way over his head. Look... I've got to find him. Well, he might be at the shop. Can you give me the address? He might get into trouble if you go there. Believe me, I'll be in more if I don't. <laughs>